Hey, welcome to uh, another episode of Overland Trailer. Um, it's been a while since we've done one of these. Uh, so long, actually. Um, we've ac we rebuilt the entire uh, trailer. Um, if you saw any of our previous videos, you know that we built sort of a chuck wagon, as we refer to it, um, that could carry all of our camping gear, uh, as well as powered by a 12 volt um, deep cycle marine battery that would power uh, uh, a fridge, a water pump, lights, uh, so that we could have you know certain amenities when we're when we're off camping. Um, however, as great as that setup was, um, <laughs> basically, you know, having all that extra space to to uh, bring camping gear uh, just made it so that we brought more gear, and that it's not always a good thing. So we decided to scrap it and rebuild uh, Chuck into what we call Chuck 2.0, um, which is now a sleeper. So it actually sleeps two people, um, has a kitchen in the back, and uh, still powered on that same 12 volt uh, deep cycle marine battery. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a walk around and I'll show you what we've, what we've done. Uh, All right, so we'll just do a quick walk around the outside and um, I'll, I'll put a link to the blog post that I did where I kind of go through the entire process for this. Uh, but this is basic two by three construction. Um, I used uh, exterior grade plywood to sheathe it and then wrapped it in Tyvek um, before putting the T111 um, kind of shed siding on the outside. Um, it turned out pretty well. Um, you know, we'll see how well the T111 holds up. Um, I may need to do some kind of sealant around it. I did uh, seal all the seams and joints with silicone. Uh, so it's, it's pretty watertight uh, from, that, from that regard. Um, also trimmed it out with uh, four inch wide uh, waterproof gorilla tape. Uh, so really the, the seams are, are pretty bomber and um, you know, we're not gonna, haven't had any water issues whatsoever. Um, so that's kind of the, the construction of, of the cabin and the frame. Um, again, it's just a, a bolt together, uh, five by nine, I believe, um, trailer that I picked up at, at Northern Tool. Um, went with a timber and axleless suspension uh, system with uh, with two inches of lift, um, and then some kind of gnarly, um, knobby, uh, off-road uh, special special use trailer tires. Uh, give it a, a pretty pretty awesome look. Um, I went to went through a company called Vintage Technologies to pick up the teardrop doors and that stargazer window that you see there. Um, and I'll, I'll go through all this in more detail as we, as we go around. Um, again, we've got our 12 volt um, battery box here. If we open this up, um, you can see in there with, with the glare, not, but we've got a, a marine uh, deep cycle battery um, that basically powers everything. I've got a, a C-Tech uh, D250SE uh, converter. What that does is it takes power from uh, vehicle and keeps this battery charged as we're driving down the road. Uh, so that's, that's a pretty nice feature. It also is solar ready. So um, at some point I'll get a, maybe a hundred watt solar panel that I can connect um, and just keep this topped off whenever we're, we're off the grid. Um, as always, you can plug in over here for shore power and that uh, operates that battery charger which keeps this going if we're at a campground or, or whatever. Um, and then I've got a 400 watt inverter uh, which powers this exterior outlet. So, um, you know, for if, if we're off the grid, you know, we have have some power to uh, operate some some smaller things, charge phones, things like that. Um, everything flows into that fuse box uh, and is controlled by that ma this master power switch. So, um, I'll go ahead and turn that on uh, so I can show you what we've, we've got. Uh, but that's that's kind of the brains of of the uh, the of the uh, camper there. Um, as we walk around here, um, I hear what I did was uh, put, put in two 12-volt uh, um, porch lights. These are switch operated, uh, so you turn them on and off as, uh, as, you, know, as you want. Um, also put in two marine speakers on the outside, um, which is a nice feature. I've got a receiver in on the kitchen, which I'll show you once we, uh, once we get to there. Um, these, again, I picked these up, uh, Vintage Technologies. These are great little doors. Um, they have both uh, a deadbolt and the standard lock, so pretty secure. Um, so we open it up. Um, these, win the, the doors also have screened windows, tinted. Um, I did build, or make some, some curtains, um, just for a little added privacy as, as needed. Um, 
if we head inside the cabin here, you'll see we've got our stargazer window, put in some, you know, just some accessory mesh nets to hold books or whatever. Um, over here, as, as you'll notice on each side, um, I've got, uh, this is a switch for these recessed lights up here. So each side operates um, each each three lights on each side. Uh, so go ahead and turn those on. I'll show you. Um, the great thing about these switches is if you if you hold your finger on it, the lights actually dim or you know turn back on, and they 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 have a memory feature. So wherever you leave them, turn them off, turn them back on. That's where it stays. So that's that's pretty awesome. Again, both sides. Also put in this charging port. Um, we've got a USB and lightning port. So, you know, when you're in a cabin, charge your phone, tablet, whatever. Um, pretty, pretty nice to have, um, to be honest. Another great feature and an absolute must if you're going to build one of these is this, uh, is this fan. Um, this just manually opens by hand, uh, and then you turn it on over there. Um, you can do intake or outtake. So either blowing air in or sucking air out. Um, if it's really hot out, um, it's, it's a great, great, great addition. You can open up the windows uh, on the doors, um, you know, turn that on. You get some excellent airflow through here. Um, one other thing I'll add about construction, um, I did insulate it um, between each, all the studs with uh, just foam insulation uh, for added comfort. Um, built a frame for the bed underneath. Um, all this is in the blog post. Um, the bed I actually got from uh, a website. Uh, I think it's custom RV mattresses or something like that. So I had it. I had it custom made for this size. Um, believe it or not, it's actually only two inches shy than a, from a full queen. Um, so it's it's pretty wide. And you know the way I built it um, is that your feet go you know underneath the cabinets from the kitchen. So you know I'm six foot three. I can fit in here without my 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 feet or my head hitting hitting, hitting either side. So it's um, deceptively spacious, um, as, as, as you might, might think. Um, also, um, I had a bunch of pallets left over, um, lying around my house. So I decided to, to reuse them and, and do the, do the cabin walls, um, give it kind of a more rustic look. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, up here, built some storage, um, just put this mesh net in, to keep bins or whatever we have from falling, you know, when we're, when we're driving down the road. Um, I don't know if you can see or not, but over over there i've got um i've actually got power coming in from outside so if we were at a campground plug an extension cord in on the outside and we'll have actual you know 120 volt power in here for you know if you have to plug in a computer or whatever um you know that's available also put a light back up in there just just you know at night if you're looking for clothes or whatever um that you have that um, but all in all, um, came out pretty nice. Camped in a few times, um, super comfortable, uh, very spacious, um, temperature regulated really nicely. Um, so, you know, really happy with how it, how it turned out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back here. Um, again, same with the first build, uh, put an awning out here. So this extends, extends out, keep you shaded from sun, rain, whatever. Um, back here, in the kitchen. What I've done is um, basically build some shelves. Um, I was gonna do cabinets, but kind of, you know, decided why why bother with the doors when I don't really have to. So just built spaces for it, put bins in there, put some uh, mesh across. Um, these are great, pick these up on Amazon. Um, you know, there's a pocket here, but also keep stuff from falling out there. Um, this is the sink area. Uh, so here what we've got is our stereo system. Um, this is AM, FM, Bluetooth. Uh, you can plug HDMI into it, USB. Um, whole wide range of stuff you can do with that. I, I have it just set up really for Bluetooth. I didn't put an antenna in or anything like that, but I did wire a speaker into here. Um, there's also a similar speaker in the cabin. Um, so we've got music, you know, you know throughout. Um, it's really, really kind of a great thing to, to have. Um, this is the uh, sink, obviously. What I did here was actually created, I just had some leftover plywood, so I um, cut out a piece and just use it to cover the sink when it's not in use to create some more countertop. Um, but this just slides off, and then you've got a 15 by 15 um, you know, sink that's, that's ready to rock and roll. Um, again, 
um, if you're at a campground, um, plug into city water uh, right here, um, and that will power uh, this, this sink as well as this sprayer. Um, I've got kind of one of those RV uh, hose sprayers that connect to that. Um, so, you know, when we're at the campground, no problem there. Uh, if we're not at the campground, um, what I did was left this open and I've got a pump under there operated by this switch. So, um, what I do is I pull out this, this tubing, it goes into a jerry can like this, it's full of water, turn that on, and we've got water that comes out of both the sink and the sprayer port. Um, in the last build, uh, as you may know, um, I put in a 20 gallon water tank underneath. Um, and as, as kind of cool as it was to have it, it was really kind of a pain in the butt, um, having to clean it and, you know, fill it and, and all that. So this is a, a much easier solution. Plus, you know, I can just go and, and get more water as I need it. Um, really easy, um, to, to do. Um, again, got the big Iceco, uh, 12 volt fridge. Um, put this on a little slider, uh, so it slides out a little bit. Um, so, it, so it can open. Um, really nice to have this. Don't ever have to buy ice. Um, tons of space in there. Um, really just, just great, great feature. Um, put the light in um, back here, just, just switch operated. Plenty of light when we're camping. Um, then just had a bunch of light, license plates. Um, clicked it over years, years, so I decided to uh, just use it as the, as kind of the, uh, the roof um, or the ceiling for, for back here. Um, upgraded the struts to 23 inch, uh, 28 inch uh, gas struts, 100 pounders. Um, so this door is is really solid. Um, it's not gonna you know come down with the wind or anything like that. Um, that is pretty much it. Um, again, this is where we plug a, an extension cord in um, to have power inside the cabin. Um, more lights back here. Um, another door. Uh, it's, it's if two people are going to be sleeping in in your in your build you definitely want to consider two doors that way you're not crawling all over each other in the middle of the night trying to get out to the bathroom or whatever um definitely you know worth the added expense um i did put in these two little levels right here just so i know when we're camping you know how close we are to uh to being level so that you know sleeping wise it's it's uh it's you know comfortable um other than that i think that's about it um if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Um, future upgrades on this, I might put a, a roof rack on, you know, carry kayaks or whatever. Um, I do have a receiver hitch, um, just like I did in the last build, under here. Uh, that carries a bike rack, um, so you can carry the bikes. Um, but yeah, it's it's it turned out really awesome. Um, super fun to camp in. Um, you know, easy to tow. Uh, so. Definitely recommend giving it a, giving it a shot, building one if, if, you, if you're thinking about it. Um, I don't think you can really go wrong. But um, anyway, thanks for checking out the video and thanks.